Good morning, everyone. This is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. And today is May 27th, 2023. It is Saturday. I've got the fan going kind of. <laughs> it's still no air conditioning. As you, if you saw my last video, you'll know we don't have any air conditioning. It's only going to be like 81 today. So, you know, we've got the windows open, fans going. It's so nice and cool in here right now because it's only 62 degrees outside. So we're going to keep it in and then close the windows and have the fans circulating all that air. Anyway, I've got some Happy Mail to show you. I have a mystery box that I ordered from Lion Brand to show you. And then a purchase that I made from Five Below. I did that online. Yeah. Uh, Amanda and I usually do a Saturday stash, you know, um, because I need to really start working on some of this yarn and I've got like some sponsorship items that I got to work on and my mystery yarn challenge. I've got a lot going on right now. So I've got my little book out. I'm crossing them off as I go. Nothing too overwhelming. So um, I just got to, I just got to get, get my button gear and get some, some stuff done. Um, anyway, if today, May 27th is your birthday, happy birthday to you. If today is your anniversary, Happy anniversary to you both. So today is an anniversary for us. Um, not Jack and myself. That's next month. But today is... I'm going to try not to get emotional. It's kind of hard. <laughs> I tell myself, don't just calm down. Just whoo. So today is the 11th anniversary of the day we adopted Nathan and Abigail. And they've, they've just been such a blessing. Oh, let me get some, hold on. See, I came, I came prepared, you guys. I knew I was going to do this. So, you know, if you've ever fostered children or have taken care of a child that isn't yours or so you kind of know the, I, I don't, it, it's just a totally different feeling, right? So hold on. I, oh, I'd apologize, you guys, but like, trust me. These are these are tears of absolute joy and amazement because my son and my daughter are just turning out to be such wonderful people, and they have been such a wonderful blessing to our family. Such a wonderful addition to our family. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I knew I was going to get emotional. So anyway, if, if you, I'm, sh I'm sure there's people out there that, you know, if, if not you yourself that have had children, um, fostering children or taking care of children, or even have children that are adopted. It's such a wonderful thing um, so, like, again, it's, it's just a great blessing. And, you know, we've had them 14 years, but the adoption was 11 years ago today. And, uh, that made Amanda a big sister. She was absolutely thrilled <laughs> about being someone's big sister. And she is absolutely fabulous at it. Uh, so yeah, so <laughs> So it's just been a wonderful ride so far, and I, I just see such great things. They're turning into such wonderful um, young adults. Um, Abby is 16 now, and Nathan is 23. And you know, like I said, they were just a wonderful addition to our family. So um, you guys, I love you. You know, you know how we feel about you. I may not have given birth to you, but you are mine. Make no mistake. <laughs> you're mine. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Oh, and I got to show my shirt that they got me at Disney. When we were at Disney World, um, it, uh, no, we didn't all have shirts like this. They bought this for me, but quite honestly, this is the first time I've been able to wear it because it was too little. So, and now it fits. So that's a good thing, right? <laughs> okay. Whew. Enough crying. Enough. Okay. So anyway, Okay, now let's let's get to 
some stuff. I got to show you. So I am drinking uh, cinnamon swirl and cinnamon, cinnamon toast, French toast, cinnamon, some kind of cinnamon, toast, some kind of cinnamon um, creamer. It's really good, whatever it is. It's definitely cinnamon though. And this is my cup. Is this the cup I got? I believe this is the cup I got from Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi, Mike. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let me... <laughs> I'm trying to get composed here. We're going to be celebrating later today. Probably grill out. And my grandson, Cameron, <sighs> graduated from sixth grade. So they do like a sixth grade send off. So we're going to celebrate that today. We've got gifts for him. And we just had my granddaughter's graduation last weekend. Whew, it's been an emotional roller coaster, you guys. I'm telling you, it's been crazy. Okay, so let me show you this, my stash first. Now, if you, I don't know if you can, if you had been able to see it, but there were two balls of yarn that were sitting there. They used to be hanks of yarn. I couldn't tell you when I bought them. It's been years. I better close this because I'm already getting the notifications or turn that off. Uh, maybe two or three years ago, I think I was going to make, I, I don't know where it came from, but these are it. It, it. It's really beautiful yarn, okay? But it, like I said, it came as two hanks. It's thin, so I'm probably going to hold them together. This may be 400 yards, maybe three, I don't know. <clears throat> but I think I am going to hold them together and, and just whip up a shawl or something. Uh, yeah. I don't even know if this is acrylic or merino. Well, I don't know. I don't know why I wouldn't put um, some kind of note on them. But they have been balled up like this forever. And now, thanks to a wonderful yarny bestie, I have a Swift. And I have... Is that what you call it? Yeah, Swift. And... um a ball winder or a yarn winder. It's not, it doesn't wind up balls, but it winds up yarn. So I have a yarn winder. Um, so now my, my, my balls of yarn look a little bit neater, but I don't know. I think I did pretty good, a pretty good job of making it into a round ball, but these have just been sitting there. And so they, they were in a bag and I took them out of the bag and we put them there when Jack put this together for me and we were rearranging this room. Um, and I was just like, what was I going to make with that? I have no idea, but, um, maybe I'll take this on vacation and work on it. I might start it here, but I found that. And then this one, I don't know if this is a new color, if it's an old color, it's the Lion Brand Hometown, Hometown USA or just Hometown. It just says Hometown. Um, Salem Creek is the color. It's a little weird. I think that's uh, pink salmon coralish like and then gray this is the only one i found so i thought oh it's chunky so i don't know what i'm gonna do with it hat or a scarf um a, a, a little blanket for lovey i don't know but those are the three items that i'm gonna work on for stash oh, okay now man i don't know where to go what, what to do next let me show you let me show you my purchase. Hold on. That's definitely not it. Okay, guys. So there is a store called Five Below. We do not have one. Um, I noticed that Rose from Rose Likes Crochet had purchased some items. And I contacted her and I'm like, hey, where'd you get those again? And so because those are really cute. She goes, Five Below. And I ordered them. They have an online shop and you can order and have it shipped. And I thought, oh, that's good. So I got on to Five Below and oh my gosh. And then I found out that there's one in Springfield. Yeah. So I ordered some stuff for pickup and then I ordered the rest of it they didn't have. So I had it shipped to my PO box. So I'm going to show you what those items are. <laughs> some of them are a little bit bigger than I had anticipated. Um, so the first item that I that um, they did not have, I had to go and pick up, were was this little thing here. It's called a Ninja Plush. What I didn't see is that it's weighted. I don't think that really makes any difference, but <laughs> here, here, I ordered two, the blue one. So it's, this is, can you hear that? It has little beads in it. And so it is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty heavy, but 
uh, it's so cute and little boys love ninjas, right? So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. If not, my grandson can probably use them, um, sit them next to his like little anime stuffies that he has in his room. But I thought that was kind of cute and it's five below. So it was $5 for these two items, see? And that's a good, that's a good size. I mean, he's got a big head, but, <laughs> but they are weighted. And I thought that was going to throw me off a little bit, but mm, I don't know. It's not bad. They kind of, they're kind of wobbly. They don't sit. But anyway, I got two ninjas. So I'm going to put those like right there. So they're out of the way. This one, these are the two that I picked up at the store. We bought a bunch of stuff there too. Cause they had like some um, old school candy, 10 for a dollar. Oh my gosh. I'd never been inside of that store before. Um, then they had this and I just thought it was so cute. And it was one of my favorite Disney movies. So I had to have the little white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. He's not so little. I mean, this is the normal size that I'm used to, like, you know, five or six inches. So he's bigger than I thought, but you know what? We're going to work with it. And he was only $5. So, I mean, come on. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> That's all I keep hearing is that, that man's voice. Um, okay. So there's that. And then I ordered, oh my gosh, this one was like super cute. I used to make these hats all the time. I haven't made one in a really long time, but I thought, you know what? Let's make a lovey out of Hello Kitty. <laughs> Isn't it so, so cute? I think that's just adorable. I love it. And it's nice and soft. I mean, these are just, I don't know. I just couldn't believe them. Like, it's only $5? But, yep, that's it. So I got a Hello Kitty as well. Um, there were two. There was one. What was that other one? Here it is. It's still in the packaging. Let's take it out. It's got to come out anyway, right? So she is... Oh, I don't know why... Kuromi, Ku, Ku, Kuromi. Maybe this isn't. This is not a Hello Kitty. I think this is some kind of. Oh, it says Hello Kitty. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Maybe because I saw that it said Hello Kitty, I wasn't really paying attention. So she's dressed up as something. I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe. Well, yeah, cause she's got a little tail. Maybe it's from a. TV show. I'll have to ask Abby. She knows about stuff like that. I don't have any idea. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. This one, this one's super cute. This one, I don't know. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. So, I'll find out what this one, what this is, what the name is, and what it represents before I um, do something with it. Okay, and I thought this was really cute because you guys know how I feel about Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter, right? This is really big, so I'm not sure if I'll use this one for a, um, as a lovey, but he is adorable. <laughs> okay. He's adorable. Now I, I talked to Rose. I showed this to her and she was like, yeah, just use a chunky yarn for a blanket. So maybe, maybe I will. Cause isn't he, he's a great for $5. I think that's such a great price for something this size. I mean, Hmm. Yep. And then I can do a, just do Gryffindor colors for a blanket and put it put it right over there for Harry Potter. I love that one. I'm going to put him on it right here so he doesn't get lost. Okay, then I got <laughs> this one. I just I'm sorry. I just can't get over how big these are. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Wowzers. I mean, look at she's big. She's I mean, this is my hand. She's she is really big. The other Peppa Pig I have maybe comes to, to her you're down she's really big so I'm gonna have to check my my um chunky yarn stash or maybe just uh, a regular skein of yarn and and hold two strands together that way I can whip up a nice quick thick you know and a bigger blanket for her but it is she's super cute come on what's not like what's not to like with Peppa Pig I'm not going to put that there because every time I sit it there or want to sit it there, I'm afraid it's going to knock my my phone out of, the, out, of, out of whack. Okay, so the only other thing I got was something that I was told if I didn't get it, 
I would like be in, in a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> it's from a video game. Uh, it does not say what this name is. Abby might have told me, but I couldn't tell you. It's from Five Nights at, Fre at Freddy's? Five Nights at Freddy's, yes. Um, no, it doesn't really, it doesn't say doesn't look like it says who it is and then on his belly it says system error so she knew what it was she says yeah mom definitely get that so I'll I will get it I will make I will make a lovey for it and we'll see if it sells if not I'm going to give it to Abigail but you know she's <laughs> she's always like mom you've got to get that all right so that was my first purchase <laughs> that that I got in the mail from five below okay now um if you guys remember when i was making abigail's where is it well well this is the yarn so i was making abigail a cardigan i was making her a cardigan oh, i don't know what the back of my head looks like my braid's kind of coming out anyway <laughs> i was making her a cardigan and i started it with eco naturals loops and threads in the color Dijon. This is the this is the yarn right here. Okay. And she this is the one that Abby really liked. And I was afraid I was not gonna have enough. I, I mean I was right. So I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta find that yarn. And I had so many of you guys reaching out to me. That was so lovely. Thank you for that. And Carla, Carla T, she sent me some yarn that they had on sale at her Michaels. Um, and I got that, I got that bag. I told her, I said, yeah, just send it to me. I'll pay you for whatever, you know, however many you get. So it wasn't the color that I was using, but I really like this yarn. So I have, I've got an idea of what I'm going to do with it because she sent, I think there's six. Yeah, there are six of these. Okay. So this is the Dijon and this is what she sent. Look at that beautiful, vibrant, goldish color. I think it's called, yeah, it, this is called mustard. So this is loops and threads, but it's their eco cozy. Um, it is just a beautiful shade of like that golden. Oh my gosh. It's 145 yards, 5.3 ounces, 133 meters or 150 grams. And it is just, so I have six of these. Isn't that, look at that color. It's beautiful. Ooh, it is just so beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, I just sent your card off, by the way, Carla. I was a little late doing that. But thank you so much for purchasing these for me. Um, and even though I'm finished with the cardigan and it wasn't the, the Eco Natural, this is beautiful. Uh, wow. <laughs> I really like Because I'm like, oh, that's not it. But Wow. It's just, I mean, it, look at that color. Look at how vibrant that is. Man, I gotta make sure, I gotta do this justice because it is just gorgeous. So yeah, I got it in this bag. And like I said, I have six of them. So I have enough to do some stuff. Could be a cardigan, could be a hat and glove, or hat and glove, hat and scarf. Who knows? But I'll tell you what. I've got enough of them to do something. And that's what's so great. And, you know, that's always a good rule of thumb. If something's on sale that you like and you want to try it, don't just get one or two. Because if you really like it, and you go back there and it was on sale or clearance, you're not going to find it. Then you're going to have to search on YouTube um, or not YouTube, um, eBay. You're going to have to search on eBay or Macari, whatever, you, whatever, you know, across the board, um, place that you look for that people are selling things and try to find it so if it's on sale just get enough to make a project with it that way you're not out you know that that project that you could have sold or given away for a gift like this I just can't believe I only have one of these I you would think I would have bought more than one so it might be hiding around here somewhere or I might have used it up I don't know but I can't find it and so I thought yep it's got to go Okay, so I received another bag. This one was from Lori. Ooh, Lori, was this? 
was this a swap? We might have we might have done a swap. If we did, please let me know. So I'm I'm gonna show you the the back because there's an address on the front and you can't have that. Um, so I got this in my PO box. It's been about a week since it's been here. Um, so yeah, Lori, this could just be happy mail or we could be doing a swap. I wrote down that I was doing a swap with three people. You might be one of them. Please let me know. Happy to hook at gmail.com. I love doing swaps. I just, I'm just saying, I also love receiving mail, but you do know you don't have to send me anything guys. I'm just a big baby, and a big, big baby. I'm a big kid when it comes to gifts. It's just kind of crazy. I share though. You guys know how I am with <laughs> my kids. If I don't, they would like take everything I had without even asking. But this way, if I share with them, then I get to keep what I want. And I get to give them something too. And then if they don't use it, I take it back. Oh yeah. I'm like, hey, whatever happened to that thing I got you? Oh, yeah, I haven't had time. Well, give it back to me because I, I can find some use for it. I promise you that. So um, this was in the bag, and I just love, <laughs> I love this. Sicily. I think that's, I hope I'm saying that right. Sicily. Martino. And it's coffee. So we're going to, sorry, I'm taking the, it's got a little, let me sit that right there. Well, I like that tin because I can put stuff in there. Oh, you can get, there's several little tins. This came inside of there. And yes, it is coffee. Uh, this package cannot be sold individually. Moratino. I wonder what flavor it is. Let's see. Artisan ground coffee. Ooh, made in Italy. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares what the what the flavor is? I am so excited. So yeah, that's what's in there. Coffee. You guys know I'm a coffee drinker. I love it. Thank you so much, Lori. Oh, I can't wait to try that. That's going to be my, my morning one. But look at what's in here. Oh my gosh. It is. Oh, and she put the little thing inside here. Okay, so it's Bernat Baby Blanket Sparkle. I've never used the Sparkle yarn before, but I'm going to show you these colors because they're just gorgeous. And I think it's just like the normal one. It's a 10 and a half ounce ball, 300 grams, 220 yards. So there's that. Oh, let me, hold on, let me show you. Let me tell you the color. The color on this one is Seafoam Sparkle. And that's why. Isn't that beautiful? Can you guys, can you see the sparkles in there? There, there, you can see right in there. You see that? Ooh, it's beautiful. But wait, but wait, there's more. There's a yellow one. This one is called Sunshine. Yep, that makes sense. Sunshine Sparkle. So they all have sparkles in them. I don't know if you can see, there you go. You can see a few, oh, a few of them. Oh, look at how pretty that is together. But wait, this is my favorite. <laughs> Purple sparkle. So this was in the bag. This is going to make a great blanket. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. So that's 660 yards of blanket. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. And... There was also aromatherapy, natural essential oils. Oh, it's body cream and it's orange ginger. Oh, that smells good. Hold on. Let's just use some right now. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, that smells good. Orange ginger. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. So this is, let me show you the, the packaging. That's beautiful. I love that. It smells really good, you guys. Mm-mm-mm. Holy moly. That smells heavenly. All right, so I keep hearing noises. I'm supposed to be the only one in the house, so. Hello? Okay. 
I have all the windows open, so it could be the neighbor using their car. I don't know, but it's weird. Now, <laughs> I feel like I'm in that movie. Are you in the house alone? <laughs> there's, always, there's always noises in this place. It's kind of crazy. Abigail was just, when she was a little girl, she swore up and down this house was haunted. And I'm like, no, it's not haunted. There's just lots of noises that you hear from, you know, outside. And it's an, an old house. It's just kind of creaking. But she's just so funny. Okay. I'm not sure if I showed you this. I, um, I've i had it for a little over a week. So um, I got a notification that Lion Brand, this is going to be probably lukewarm now, but I don't care. I got a notification from Lion Brand that their mystery boxes were back. And I thought, oh, good, because I missed the last one. You know, they had sold out. So I only ordered one. I think it was $19. It was 16 or 19 It wasn't very much. Um, so I just got this one in the mail. So here's, and it's open. So that's why I said, if I've shown this to you, sorry, <laughs> you get to see it again. So there are three of these. It's called Respect. It's Recycled Polyester Blend. And it's three and a half ounces, 262 yards, and I got three skeins of them. So I figure I was going to give this to Amanda because she has been making cute little bags. Ugh. She made all of my coworkers bags. They all bought bags from her. And um, yeah, they're just adorable. So she she would probably, with this much, this, this should be enough to make a bag, I hope. 262. To, she likes to make them thick. So if I were, if I know Ab, Amanda, she will use all three strands, hold them together, and then make a little bag with it. But it's a good color. The colorway, I think I said pebble. I don't know if I didn't. That's the colorway. Do I need to move my, so you can see it? Look, and then I go like this, I peek over. <laughs> but anyway, it's called pebble. And I got three of those. Let me put this back in the bag. Now this one I've used before. This this um particular well maybe not it says limited edition i'm pretty sure this looks really familiar um this is a three and a half ounce ball 186 yards it is yeah i might have to take it out of the bag guys hold on it's 100 percent acrylic it's machine washable so um i love that anyway i got three of those the colorway is Oh, let me, hold on, let me, let me keep it. We're going to just rip it open. Sorry for all the rustling, guys. Oh, it doesn't look, it looks softer than it feels. So this might be a good candidate for a bag as well. Um, So the bag that I made, first of all, Rose makes a bunch of those bags. It's a granny, I think it's called a gra granny square Granny Square Market Bag, maybe? Anyway, it's by Crochet by Claire. And she uses an acrylic yarn. And I thought, I think that might be, you know, just a nice neutral color to make a bag. Now, Rose makes hers out of cotton. And when I made one, I made mine out of cotton as well. Where is it at? I don't even know if I showed you guys this, so I'll show them to you in a minute. Hold on. Um, let me show you the yarn first, and I'll get to the bag. <laughs> But um, anyway, so the colorway on this one is called Neutrals. So yeah, and I got three of those, 186 yards each. So that would definitely make a bag, maybe even two. Might be able to get two bags out of those three. And the last one was Scarfy Yarn, Colorway Rust, and... Rust Cameo. Oh, no, 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 just Rust. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that was loud. I don't know if you guys heard that, but sorry if you did. The window's open. <laughs> this is a 5.3 ounce, 312 yards per skein. I like that. That's 936 yards right there. Ooh. So, has anyone used Scarfy yarn for anything other than a scarf? Because 312 yards is pretty good, and I've got three of them. So, sorry, that was, that's loud to, in, over in my, I don't know if you can hear it, but there were sirens, they were really loud. 
Anyway, that's over 900 yards. So if you guys have a pattern that you use or something that you like to make out of the scarfy yarn, um, let me know because I've got, like I said, I've got 900 yards of it. And I probably, if I can make something other than a scarf or a hat, I will. I mean, I'm, I'm up, you know me, I'm up for anything. So let me know. That's a really pretty color. You see that? It's like three different shades, maybe two. No, three, three different shades. That's really pretty. Hmm. So that was the box from Lion Brand for my mystery box. And that was like well over a week ago. But um, <laughs> I just, I can't, I'm just now getting around to it. And I, I try to go at least once a week to my PO box. <sighs> but you know, with everything, graduation and stuff, we had just had so much going on. So I did make a few loveys but they're not in this room so i i'll show them to you on the next video because i've got stuff laid out my next craft show is july 8th so i'm starting to check my inventory to see what i need to do what i need to make you know and how many of what this is a newer location for me so this will only be the third time that i've been there so we'll see what happens and you had your pick between inside or out and i'm like it's july i don't want to be outside so inside it is same price. So I'm like, yep, inside, just get me a table. I'm good. <laughs> or get me a spot and I'm good. 10 by 10 spot is what it was. Okay. So we had this yarn. This was the premier yarns that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And Abby, this is, Abby made this, not me. I just suggested that she made it because I thought, eh, let's, let's mix those together and see what happens. I don't know what colors, orange and pink, orange and something i don't know but this is this is the result and i know it it's you know these colors are not for everyone but i just thought it was really cool i loved the color she loves to mix them together so she said hey mom what do you think and i go i think i think we we made a good choice there so yeah they're just really nice and you know it's been it's been chilly. She made me one in, it was in an I Love This Yarn, and I believe it was called Cottonwood or something. It was some weird weird name, but it was browns and tans, and then when you put it on the machine, it made this really cool pattern. So um, when I have to go outside, I wear that. Usually when I would take Coco out, I would put that on just to keep my head and, you know, part of my head and my ears warm, but... So we made that, and then this is the bag that I was telling you about that you probably have seen already, but since I talked about it, it's this one. I've made two. I made one with the yarn that I received from the Mystery Yarn Challenge. So I started it with this color. This is a this is 100% cotton. I don't know where the labels are, guys. Sorry. Um, and then I ran out. So I used an entire ball of this cotton. So I think I need two balls. Obviously, I'm going to need two balls of the same color. And I just got random things of cotton over here. I don't have a lot that are the same color, but because I usually buy one solid and one variegated to make uh, dishcloth sets. So I'll have to fix that. <laughs> so I found something that was really close. I mean, you can tell the difference. Jack says, you know, that doesn't look that bad at all. It looks like you did it on purpose. So there you go. So here it is. It's, you know, one of those little bags was really quick to work up. Um, I can definitely, like I said before, I can see why Rose likes to make them because they're just, they're just really neat. And you know, you can just throw stuff in there. It's, it's just great. It's a great little bag, you know? So I enjoyed making it. I will definitely be making more. And, oh, I don't know why I have this out. Let me see. Oh, I must have just been working. I'm just working on something. So, yeah, it's got really pretty yarn in it, but there's nothing made. I just love this bag. Let me show you guys this bag. So, I'm sure you all know Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast. We did a swap years ago, and I received several bags. I got like um, she she crocheted me. Um, she did me a little amigurumi. What was it? A little Star Wars guy. Oh, oh, there he is. Hold on, I gotta show you, cause he's so cute, a pug. She made that for me. Isn't that adorable? She's probably going, I can't believe you still have that, Lisa. Of course I do, Terry. 
But look at this cool bag. And then the inside, the lining. Isn't that great? So yeah, so whatever, I mean, I, it's really thin yarn. This would make a really pretty shawl or shrug maybe. Um, maybe I frogged it and just didn't show you guys because this is the same yarn and this is a little ball. But anyway, it's in my cute little bag. I'll keep it right there. So it must have, I must have had that and I got a little fuzz all over me. Anyway. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's just the cutest little thing. <laughs> he's my bestie friend. He's my bestie little amigurumi. Oh, I love that thing. Okay, um, I'm gonna get off here, guys. I got a lot to do today, but um, I'm glad that I got to share uh, part of my day with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, not only can you find me on YouTube, but I am also on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, Pinterest, and Facebook. Now, if you want to join the Facebook group that I have, uh, you have one question that you have to answer and that's it. And then you're part of the group. Lovely, lovely people. They, you know, they like to share free patterns, yarn sales. They're constantly showing their project projects and, you know, asking for suggestions. They lift each other up. We've got new people that are also new to crocheting. So, you know, they, they need help with stitches or uh, color patterns or, you know, whatever. Whatever question you may have in that group, just that's crochet or even knitting, knitting related because I've got a few people that do both or do one or the other. Um, definitely check it out, okay, because you are more than welcome in that group. So hop on over there. And remember, I also have an Etsy shop. It's, and they're all listed under Happy to Hook Creations. You can find all the descriptions or the links in the description box below. And yeah, so now get off of here. I'm going to get off here. You stop watching this and go outside and enjoy the weather if it's good weather for you. I'm going to really take advantage of the fact that it's cool and not really hot yet. So um, the yard's mowed. <laughs> I am doing laundry. Mm, you know, got to do what you got to do, right? Uh, anyway, I'm going to get off here. Thanks again. Uh, I really appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye-bye.